Tragedy in Des Moines this January when two students were shot and killed at a Des Moines after school program and the program's leader seriously injured. You can see footage of that day. Police lining the streets dealing with the aftermath. Two teenagers were killed that day, 18-year-old Rashad Carr and 16-year-old Gianni Dameron. Authorities are accusing another teenager of carrying out the shooting, 19-year-old Preston Walls. He is charged with first-degree murder, attempted murder, and criminal gang participation. And today is day one of Walls' trial in a Polk County courthouse. Local 5's Dana Searles has been in the room all afternoon hearing those opening statements and testimony. It's day one in the trial for the starts right here shooting and we heard opening arguments and five witness testimonies. The day began with the prosecution laying out the facts it says led to the shooting. When he left, he had shot 30 times. He had shot Rashad nine times and Johnny 13 times and Will keeps twice. But the defense arguing in the lead up to the shooting, Walls was threatened and even assaulted, further arguing the reason this trial is happening is because Preston Walls didn't want to die. Because it meant something more important. Preston was alive and alive. He can stand here and answer for what happened that day. We heard testimony from five witnesses, four law enforcement officers explaining what they claim they saw that day. We saw body camera footage from the officer who first arrived on the scene. It showed the bodies of Rashad Carr and Gianni Dameron. Families of them very emotional in the courtroom throughout the whole video. A key point brought up by the prosecution, how many shots were fired that day. One witness recounting the amount of shell casings when he first walked in. I, I couldn't even begin to know how many to count. So I've been on a lot of shootings, but that was a lot of casings that had been in a very, very sh uh, short proximity of area. And the fifth witness starts right here employee Yvonne Palmer. Palmer spoke on a disagreement she knew about between Walls and Dameron. And after prompting from the defense, Palmer mentioned her knowledge of Rashad Carr creating of what she calls a diss video. Previous court documents show that Dameron and Carr were involved in the creation of a music video referencing the death of the accused getaway driver's half-brother. This video was posted one week before the shooting. Now we are still expecting Will Keeps to testify who was also injured in the shooting. The court will reconvene tomorrow at 9 a.m. and Local 5 will bring you coverage throughout the trial. At the Polk County Courthouse, Dana Searles, Local 5 News.